Oi, 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 everybody. Welcome to youtube.com slash DylanKG. Today, we're actually going to be talking about the Pyramid Head buff nerf thing and why I think it completely misses the balance mark for Pyramid Head. And maybe talk about what we could do better or suggest that would make Pyramid Head a little bit more fun for all sides, right? So I'm a Pyramid Head main, but I don't know everything. And obviously, people can have differing opinions. So I wanted to open a discussion and a dialogue here. So, uh... If you don't remember, the issues with Pyramid Head previously were that Pyramid Head would basically uh, put his rights of judgment in the ground and he would threaten anybody who was at a pallet or a window. If they dropped the pallet or hit the window, he would hit them with punishment of the damned. And if uh, if they didn't jump the window or didn't hit the pallet, they, he would just pull his blade up out of the ground and M1 attack. And so basically, a, a good Pyramid Head uh, in a chase could just he was a force to be reckoned with he, he was basically unstoppable right there were things you could do but for the most part the majority of the player base was getting absolutely ass clapped by pyramid head right so they they changed it so he has a half second delay after uh he pulls his blade out of the ground uh he has an additional half second delay so it's a full second now uh after a rights of judgment before he could swing m1 and they changed it so that uh he actually has a faster cooldown after shooting punishment of the dam now what this does is this the idea here is to encourage people to use punishment of the damned more liberally but there's a few flaws in that in my opinion right so uh, i wanted to talk about why punishment of the damned um needs a few more tweaks before that works right now so they want you to use punishment of the damned really liberally now let's let's talk about that if a survivor's not on autopilot and they see the ground light up say in a car loop at azarov's or like a loop where that nancy was most survivors that aren't on autopilot are going to be able to juke your punishment of the damned all they need to do is look at where you as Pyramid Head are looking and then go the other direction. Pyramid Head cannot turn as fast as a survivor can juke uh, left and right, right? So there's like the first endemic issue. The changes for Pyramid Head, Pyramid Head were made so that he felt more skillful, quote unquote, to use, um, but also so that he, you know, they want to encourage you using your punishment of the damned. But at a high level, um, you're still, in my experience, you're still going to be using Punishment of the Damned to hit guaranteed shots, um, or hit shots, uh, that, you know, are 50-50 gambles, right? Like, you can't even see that the survivor is actually there, you're just sort of taking an estimated shot based on how fast they're moving and what the other side of the wall looks like. And that's not skill, that's you taking, you know, a, a guesstimate shot, right? So the issue is, I think that I think Pyramid Head should have a faster turn radius, um, just slightly with the punishment of the damned, uh, the rights of judgment going. I think he should be able to turn to keep up with the turn speed of survivors, right? A la Huntress, the way that she has a hatchet back and she has to do this. And then if she misses, she misses. But it's a back and forth conversation between survivors and the killer. Right now, a good instance is if you're at an LT wall and you put your blade in the ground and somebody doubles back at 360s around you, you can't move your, but you have to pull your blade up and then they get tons of distance, right? So right now the, the jukes from survivors aren't like too strong, but it really just encourages you to, you know, not even put the blade in the ground and, and, or, you know, it, it just, it feels really strange. Um, so I think if you want to make it skill-based, make the punishment for whiffing what it used to be and make it so that you can turn just as fast so that there is a mind game element to it because because like i said right now basically what you're doing is you shoot in front of the survivor they double back so you have to shoot behind the survivor and hope they double back into it and if they don't then they you know you're just wasting tons of time right um it, it's not like accurate you know it doesn't feel very accurate to do again and the other issue is if somebody dips behind a wall you know, yes, I've gotten even in this very video hits where somebody was behind a wall, but if they decided to make their movement strange out of the ordinary or run things wide, I'm not hitting through walls. So the only shots you really can hit with Pyramid Head are, are shots at tight loops where they double back into it or something like that, or the guaranteed hits like the windows and the pallets, which is what the devs didn't want you to be doing to begin with. They wanted it to feel like you were earning your shots. They want you to use it more liberally. 
there's a kind of a lot of issues with this. I don't think increasing the speed of the attack rolling out makes a lot of sense because there is skill in learning how fast it rolls out, right, and timing it, shooting early so that by the time the very end of the trail gets the attack, it hits, things like that. But right now, I don't think this is working. I think there's going to be too many low tier killers that spam their attack at a pallet um, because a survivor is going to be locked into that pallet loop a little bit and they're just going to spam it and spam it and spam it and spam it. And I think too many low tier survivors are going to get frustrated with that and still continuously get hit by that. Because Let, let's not lie to ourselves, right? This game is balanced mostly for the, the low to middle tier of players, right? Um, they make up the majority of the, the player base, the user base, it, it, the more casual, right? The, the top, top, top tier players, there's, it's a, ma a minority of people. And so it's not balanced towards that necessarily in all of its aspects. And I think that we, most of us can agree to that. So I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know that this balance buff nerf makes a lot of sense. And I don't really know that it accomplishes what the devs want it to accomplish. I think Pyramid Head is going to play the same as he kind of always has. You're going to take the guaranteed shots, and I'm going to continue taking shots through like L LT walls and things like that and getting some of those weirder nuanced hits. Um, but that's it. I'm not going to necessarily be more liberal, use his attack in random chases, and use his attack in areas that doesn't make any sense, you know? I I'm not sure that that works. So, I, I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm this is the first time I've tried this type of video. Uh, let me know. I, I want to have a discussion. I don't know everything, um, but that'll be all. Thank you guys for being here. Get some water. I'm going to get outside and get some something to drink, get some food. Uh, we will be live over on Twitch discussing this more, and uh, I'll pray to the entity to see you guys over there.